Hello guys. Well, it's finally here. This has taken about five weeks to come. Uh, one of those free shipping things. And it's a carburetor for the four horsepower snowblower. So let's just see if it's anywhere near what I hope it's going to be. Ooh, an intake manifold. Looks good so far. Oh no. Well, I think the choke lever is going to have to be changed out to the different one. But this can be changed or drilled or whatever. Throttle. I'm happy. Because the existing uh, carburetor did not have the primer hose to it. And this one doesn't either. And I know that's... <laughs> and I know that it'll be that hole right there where the throttle arm goes in. So I'm... and the gas goes to the back, not out 180 degrees. It has a 90 on it. So that's real good. Very, very happy. Certainly wasn't packed very well, was it? Well, that's on my list of projects. Good day, tubes. Well, we're going to put the new carburetor onto the old snowblower. Like I said earlier, this carburetor came from an H50 tiller, newer model, with the uh, gas line non-90 degrees and also the choke lever needs some work but what I'd like to do is I'd like to just use this put a whole new choke lever in from this old carburetor whoops put a whole new choke lever in from this carburetor right there but using that Plate. Plate, is that a good word? So anyway, we'll just get it started on the bench and see how it goes. So we have to remember that this was not the original carburetor. This is the, the and this is the original carburetor body. And the springs line up, the spring for the choke hold lines up at the right spot. This one does not. It's a little bit more squished on the spring right there compared to there. So what I want to do is I want this choke arm onto this carburetor, but we're going to maintain this butterfly valve. See if we can do it. Now before we pull this out, I'm going to look at the spring configuration. Oh, I think, oh yeah. It's just a spring for up and down. This is the lever I want. And it's a different height than that one. So this is, this is the one I want. That butterfly I don't want. I'm going to put the original butterfly back in this carburetor. Which is this one. Perfect. And we'll just Pop this back on. Okay. 
Okay, now the throttle part. I think we're going to keep the throttle on this one. Should be the same. Yes. Well, that carburetor is back to the original configuration. So now let's put the choke arm on this guy. Good. Now this is the original butterfly choke, so they look pretty good. We'll use the new one. Okay, James, we've got the original choke lever from carb one onto the uh, body of the new carburetor. And uh, we're just going to install it, get ready to install it. I need to have the intake housing bracket on here. I might just turn that idle up a tiny bit. There we go. And I think that's ready to install. So on the original throttle lever, you can see which hole I marked with the scratches. So that's where the governor arm will go into. And the choke. And now we line up the screws. And I'm using the original intake manifold because it's part of this assembly right here. So we don't need that. And just two bolts or nuts. Bolts, nuts. There, and two. Little wrenches to tighten it up with. I don't know what side to start with. So I will uh, just turn the camera off and I won't put you through this torture of tightening this carburetor up. I'm just tightening up that nut there and that nut there. And we have choke and throttle. Thanks guys. All right, the carburetor's on with the bolts and I just connected the gas line. I cut about two inches off of it. And now I'm just going to adjust the choke and we'll give it a start. All right folks, now we're going to fire this up and see if this new carburetor does its thing. I'm confident. Choke, recorder throttle, and it's weird I have to pull it from the other side. Okay, start it up again, I'm at the low end, 
I'm trying to go lean and then to rich. So I adjusted the carburetor. First I went till it was lean and it quit and I brought it back a little bit and then I started it back up. I went rich at three quarters throttle and back a little bit. Then I put it on full throttle and I went too rich at full throttle and then back a little bit. <clears throat> so I guess my only other thing now I think is to change the oil. Thanks guys. Okay, Tubes, we're going to take her on her maiden voyage, the second one in its life. <laughs>